Hello everyone to another episode of KOA Crips. Make sure to like and subscribe and show your support. If you have a castle that you like featured on this segment, please uh, leave a comment on the video and uh, me or Vito will reach out to you and we'll make your arrangements. Today's castle that is being featured is a uh, Patton Crunch or uh, Patton from uh, Kingdom 860. He has a 3.6 billion castle. So definitely uh, one of the upper end castles here, over 20 days fast. And uh, going into his skins collection, looks like he's got some 4-star ones, some 2-star skins. Again, kind of keeping in mind, it's one of the newer kingdoms. His collection looks a little bit like mine, but that I do seem to have, I think, a few more skins than he does. But again, one of the latest skins, still there. Looks like he's been collecting for a while. Got a few marches there, quite a few are missing. Looks like he likes that little Nutcracker march over there on the accolades. Now this is where he seems to have spent quite a bit on the Azur Gallery. Personally, I uh, don't normally spend on the Azur Gallery. I don't feel like it's worth it. Uh, the only time that I spent on it was for that 40% all stats boost uh, when that came around last time. But uh, looks like Captain's been going a little crazy on there. Got a pretty nice collection of athletes sitting out. And uh, some nice bonuses from there as well. It does look like he's got the latest accolade there as well. On uh, the Moon's Legend. That's the one with the 40% on true stats, which is great accolade. It was about a $100 investment, but uh, I can totally work that. Going over into his statues, looks like he's got a full set of legendaries going down uh, 2,880 and uh, 960 percent, all maxed out, full set of statues. Into the dragon, again, it is a 8 star dragon, level 70. Dot all of the skills at 6 star, doesn't look like he has anything worked on for the 7 star skills yet. Probably the next item for him to work on, uh, but a good dragon, solid right there. On the emblems end, we've got uh, quite a bit of epics. Does look like it's all epics all the way through. Definitely need to put in a little bit of work there. Looks like we've got the mats there just need to upgrade. Tier 2, Conic Stones. He's got all five, tier two, almost level five on most of them. Looks like he's been uh, collecting on the tier threes now as well, but uh, doesn't seem to have had much of a luck over there. Going down over into the troops section, he has a total of 11 million troops, a pretty decent spread, about 4.4 mil infantry, 3.2 mil cavalry, and a bunch of uh, bows. Personally, I like to have the cavalry and bow ratio about double infantry of that, so I would have said probably close to about 6 mil or a little bit higher on there, but uh, something, another item for work. Wow, this is a surprise. Um, generally, most of the bigger castles I've seen maxed out artifacts. But it looks like he's still working on the artifacts. Saw them sitting at Epic over there. On the uh, hero side, 
We've got uh, all the heroes here. Uh, most of them six star, the new ones at three star. Pretty solid set right there. Even a six star Cillian is sitting on the lineup. Really nice work there. Great benefits on the construction and such a lot. Yeah, definitely have to uh, agree on that. Looking at the stats, weapons. Hmm, that looks like it's pretty much maxed out as well. Druidic set from what we're looking at here. Here is a legendary, another legendary epic. He's got a few epics in there as well. I think he was probably going for the cavalry for a while and then switched over to the bow recently. So there's some work that needs to be done there, but a solid set of druids. A whole bunch of gold sitting in the inventory. It's got uh, quite a lot of mats when it comes to dragon skill crystals. Probably should use them to get one or two skills over to seven star if you can. And that makes a huge difference. We're talking about similar stats. The dragon skills are the ones that really set apart great castles from the good ones. A lot of uh, chests. Looks like there's. Uh, Ireland's prize is still sitting there from top 50 and a bunch of other rats as well not bad at all a pretty good collection 5,000 troop trainings I'm assuming that's gonna be dropped probably it's training day dragon spirit again going down uh, got up to tier 6 level 50 max working on level 60 this has definitely been a challenge when it comes to dragon spirits for the newer kingdoms. The uh, older kingdoms are so well established on their dragon spirits that winning those dragon arena is virtually impossible for us. And the kind of cost that they've associated with those dragon skills is uh, really not worth it. On the gem side, looks like a whole lot of epics, a few legendaries. Need some work there, but uh, a pretty solid set of the Frost Gems. Has a full Holy Eagle armor set as well. Plus three, all the way across. Has some enchantments on it. Still a, quite a little bit of a way to go on there as well. I'm sure it's a work in progress. But uh, overall, a pretty solid castle, and uh, definitely uh, thank you again for joining us. Let us know if uh, there is anything else that you'd like to see, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.